Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, December 7, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button to hit uh, down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our live trading, and also our signal service. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have fallen quite a bit today and then rallied again. To now, we're creating this small hammer here. And that is an encouraging sign for the US dollar index. We have been waiting for um, pullback in the US dollar for technically forever. We have been fallen since uh, basically in the, in the mid uh, November, we, uh, around here, 12th of November, we have just been falling constantly. And at this point, we are oversold. CCI is turning around, Stochastic is turning around, and it's only a matter of time before the MACD turns around. So I am anticipating a pullback. We'll find resistance here at 90, 91. We'll find resistance here at 91.4, and we'll definitely find resistance at 91.84. Um, this has to turn around at some point. Uh, if you look at the Bollinger Band as well, it is basically way past the Bollinger Band. So so um, yes, and a pullback towards the 20 exponential is is very plausible on Monday. And watch out most of these currencies that have been rallying and um, rallying the few days, they will fall like rocks. So uh, I encourage you to look at my foreign exchange video because I um, explain what basically most likely will happen there. But also for commodities, this will also have a major effect. And it looks like we are about to turn around um, sometimes next week, well, maybe Monday. So let's look at oil. So, of course, there was a lot of news of OPEC, but we got to 46.67. That's how far we got. And, um, well, we just fell all the way back to the previous highs here. So, yes, where this market is going? Well, I will basically, at this point, I think that we're just going to head towards 70.50. That is where we are most likely are going to go. There's room to the upside. There's no reason why we should be here, but we are here. And um, at this point, we are even creating a channel. So we can look at like this way. This is the upper part of the channel, and this is the, uh, frankly, the lower part of this channel. So, so keep in mind that is actually where we are heading. So a break below this uh, opens the door to the 20 exponential or these previous highs here. But at this point, you should basically see this as a uh, getting close to this. Um, lower channel is basically a buying opportunity getting close to the highs here is a selling opportunity so we are going to go higher and the target most likely will be the 50 um 50 dollar range here uh, before we see a significant turnaround technical indicators for this are fairly bullish so um yes i am no interest in basically buying this or selling this i technically am just waiting until we get to the 50 and then i'll basically sell as much of oil as I basically can. So let's look at natural gas. And natural gas has found a bottom. So we fell all the way down to 2.5, which also was expected. We have made these lower lows here, here, and here. Um, I just don't think this is going to be the end of this fall. I think we could actually fall all the way down towards the 200 moving average. So if you look at the Fibonacci retracements for the natural gas market, there's a reason why we found uh, support here. We can see that this is the 50 Fibonacci retracement is exactly where we fell to. So it could not be more perfect than that. We rallied, but the target most likely is the 61.8. 61.8 is just above the 200 moving average. So we could see a pullback towards this previous lows here at 2.64. 
and then we fall again. And we actually have a quite a lot of proof of that, um, that when we get to this level, we have sellers coming in trying to pressure this down. So we're not oversold. We're at 36 at this point. So there is room to the downside. We could actually go lower in the, in the, this commodity. And it is also expected. Um, yeah, it is expected due to this basically trend here. We are basically in a downward channel as well in this uh, in this um, in this commodity. So the target here, I won't be really satisfied of, of uh, investing in this until we get to two point three six six six. So this will most likely be the bottom of the market and where you can basically start selling it back towards the 50 moving average. Um, otherwise, I do expect a pullback from here up towards 2.6 and then we'll see another uh, another low down here. Technical indicators for this are still dreadful. Um, the CCI is, a, is still looking dreadful. It's a little bit of a pullback here, but still these are not looking good. We are most likely going to go lower next week so let's look at gold so gold has found resistant at the 20 exponential moving average and when you find resistant at the 20 exponential moving average there's a big problem on your hands um, we're only at 46 there is a massive amount of, uh, of room to the upside we're not even being not even close to being or bought so we're just uh, witnessing more of the same. We're just witnessing more of this, more of that, and more of this, and so on. So this is just another, um, how do you can say it, a bull trap. We are not, it doesn't look like we are going to rally up towards the 50. That's not what this looks like. Um, it more looks like we are rallying up towards the 20, heading back towards the 200, and probably these lows. Maybe. At this point, we have, uh, we could also look long run for this market. This is the major resistant line. So when we get close to this, if we get close to this, we are going to drop like a rock. We did it here, we did it here, and probably will do it again if we rally up towards this res resistant line. We have created another supportive line down here. You can see it right there. And when you basically add these two lines here, we get, well, a room will probably be trading in until next year. So what I think is going to happen in this market is that we are going to rally, break down, rally, break down, rally, and break down. And 2021, will probably show us where we are going in this market. And I think it's going to be stimulus that is going to um, to uh, make gold rally to the upside. So if we rally across this resistance line here, then of course we are going much higher. We're going to target 2000, 2100 and also beyond that. So there is going to be stimulus and stimulus is going to make a massive rally for gold but i don't think it's going to happen until we basically visit this area here so you're just going to see a lot of choppiness back and forward back and forward the 50 moving average is going to travel something like this and then go up the same goes for the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average will travel this way before we go higher so we'll probably never see the 50 and the 200 cross each other because that will be quite dreadful for it, uh, for gold. So at this point, I'm still just waiting. I'm fairly certain that this is what's going to happen in this market. And then we are going to rally a major rally to the upside when we get close to this corner here. So technical indicator for this are mixed. Some of them, for example, MACD is looking promising. Stochastic is turning around. CCI is turning around. My, the RSI is turning around, so we'll probably head towards back to 20, the 200 moving average, and then rally again the closer that we get to the support line. So 
Hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you get full, full access to our technical, technical analysis and also our signal service and live trading. So good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.